and the dangers posed by their relationship have only grown larger. Venezuelan Iranian cooperation, cooperation is helping Tehran to advance its nuclear program, to withstand the pain of global sanctions, and to export its radical ideology to the Western Hemisphere. Here are just a few recent examples, from many, out of many, of that cooperation. In 2008, Iran established a new bank in Caracas that was later sanctioned by the U.S. Treasury Department for having financial links to the Iranian military. In 2009, the two countries launched uh, the Iran-Venezuela Joint Bank in Tehran. It reportedly started with a capital base of $200 million. The goal was to increase that figure to $1.2 billion. As former New York City District Attorney Robert Morgenthau noted, a foothold into the Venezuelan banking system is a perfect sanctions busting method for Iran. Also in 2009, the Associated Press reported, citing an Israeli foreign ministry document, that Venezuela and Bolivia were providing Iran with uranium. Both countries have ample reserves, many of them unexploited, uh, of uranium. That same year, Chavez announced that Venezuela would begin selling Iran 20,000 barrels of petroleum a day in an effort to undercut potential international gasoline sanctions. Last month, a Russian media outlet reported that Moscow might sell its highly sophisticated S-300 air defense systems to Venezuela instead of Iran due to UN sanctions against the Islamic Republic. The fear, uh, very validly, is that Chavez will then transfer those weapons to Tehran. The Venezuelan leader recently traveled to Iran, his ninth visit, where he signed several energy and economic deals. And the harder it gets to ignore Iran's growing footprint in Latin America. The Venezuela-Iran alliance is one big reason why the South American country has been aiding the Iranian-backed terror group Hezbollah. Indeed, two years ago, the U.S. Treasury Department formally accused the